Okay, I'm going to make two more examples for you guys, but the rest are on your own. So if you need these, great. If not, then you can work on your own. Like I said, you have 10 to do. You've done these three here. You need to do two more. So I'm going to do this one, and I'll do a line one, two. All right, so here we go. This one's pretty simple. You only need four steps to do it. So the first step, of course, is to draw your circle. It's problem 1-18. You look at your sheet, and you see how you need a large circle in the middle. It's this one right here. So I'm going to go circle with diameter and go 2.5. So do that. Okay, next step. We need two more circles. Simple enough. We're going to put them on the right quadrant. One is 1.12. And then the other is 1.5. So do that. Okay, you obviously got that part done. Next step is array. Type in AR. Click these two objects. Press Enter. Polar. Remember to choose a middle. If you can't find the middle, touch the outside of the circle with which will activate your midpoint. Okay, click this, you see get example. This word should be off. Associate should be off. So make sure you don't have that. Change items to eight. You press enter. You press enter. You're done. There's only one more part left. I'm going to erase this circle right here. Please don't trim it. Press it. Delete key. If you really hate that button, click it, right click, and erase. Either way works. All right. So if we're looking at the sheet, you'll see you have some overlap, like kind of this right here. I'm not going to do that all for you. I'll at least get you started. So you trim, you press enter twice, and then carefully look at your sheets to, talk, to start trimming off the areas that you don't need. All right. So something like this, but I want you to do that for all of it. I'll trim two more, and then the rest are on your own because I'm not going to do all that for you. Let me show you that. There and there. Now, if you make a mistake and you realize you trimmed too much, let's say I trimmed this part right here. If you press Shift, it acts as an extend. You see that, how it brings back your lines? So trim, trim. Oops, I made a mistake. You just got to put that back in there. All right? So you can go ahead and trim out the rest of this. I'll let you guys work. When you get done, jump back to the video, and we'll work on the last problem. Okay? Bye. Okay. Oh, the last two things. Dimension. I want two diameters. One for this circle. One for this circle. I just pressed Enter, by the way. But you saw that I didn't jump back up here to press this icon. Remember, if you press Enter, spacebar, it'll re-invoke the last command. Okay, we're going to do a simple one. We'll do the triangle one. That one's not bad. All right, so you're going to go line again, draw a bottom line, 4.25. 4.25. Okay. Go at a 120 angle. I'm just going to draw it up straight like this. I could do it perfectly if I lined it up with this, with that middle point. If you want to save time, do it like this. So I just touched the midpoint. I brought it up. You see the 120? If you got that, click, click, you're done. All right, time to offset. You guys love offsetting. I'm just going to go in, and click, and click, and click, and click, and click, and click, 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 and click. I guess there's one more. Click. miss this one. Okay, so I'm going to trim. I'm going to fence. I'm going to start with this outside area here because I just don't want that. This is a great command. Look at this. You can weave in and out. And whatever you touch, it gets rid of. Oops, missed one. There you go. And there you go. Now I go fence again. I do the inside.
enter. Once again. Enter. Oops. Left off it. Fence. 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 If you don't like this command, you will. Fence. What? This took me all of like six minutes to do for both. Not bad. Okay. You got that done. I just need two dimensions on this one. I need a linear one at the bottom. 4.25. So do that. Then I need an aligned one. The best way to do this one is to click on two midpoints, like here and here. And that should do it for you. All right. You're good. Okay. I've helped you do a couple of these. The rest are on your own. So hopefully you guys have enough to make yourself a little bit dangerous. All right. Thanks. Bye.